The Ring of Fire is a term used to describe the area around the Pacific Ocean where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur. This region is home to over 450 volcanoes, many of which are active, and it stretches from the southern tip of South America, up along the coast of North America, across the Bering Strait, down through Japan, and into New Zealand. The Ring of Fire is caused by the movement of tectonic plates. The Pacific Plate is being subducted or pushed under the other tectonic plates surrounding it, which causes frequent seismic activity. This area is particularly vulnerable to earthquakes because it is home to several large faults, including the San Andreas Fault in California and the Cascadia Subduction Zone in the Pacific Northwest. These faults can produce some of the largest earthquakes in the world. California is located on the boundary of the two tectonic plates, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. It is a strike-slip fault, meaning the Pacific and North American tectonic plates are sliding past each other. The San Andreas Fault is one of the most studied and active faults in California and is responsible for some of the largest earthquakes in California's history. The fault stretches from Southern California to Northern California and is responsible for the formation of the California Coast Ranges. Some of the strongest earthquakes in California's history include the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, which had a magnitude of 7.8 and resulted in significant damage to the city. And the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, which had a magnitude of 6.9 and caused widespread damage in the San Francisco Bay Area. Another significant earthquake was the 1994 Northridge earthquake which had a magnitude of 6.7 and caused widespread damage in Los Angeles. Earthquakes along the coast can be particularly dangerous because they can trigger a tsunami. As the earthquake causes the seafloor to move, it can displace large amounts of water, which can then create a tsunami. These waves can travel very quickly and can be very large and destructive when they reach the shore. It's important to note that the whole coast of California is at risk of tsunamis. Not only the northern and southern parts of the state but also central California can be affected. California has a history of tsunamis. The most notable tsunamis in California's history include the tsunami that struck the coast in 1964 after a magnitude 9.2 earthquake in Alaska, causing damage to several coastal communities and resulting in several deaths. Another significant tsunami was the 1946 tsunami that struck the coast of California following a magnitude 8.1 earthquake in the Aleutian Islands. This tsunami caused significant damage to several communities and resulted in several deaths. The Ring of Fire is also known for its intense volcanic activity, with over 75% of the world's active and dormant volcanoes located within it. Some of the most notable active volcanoes in the Ring of Fire include Mount Fuji in Japan, which is an active stratovolcano and the highest mountain in Japan. Mount Sakurajima in Japan, which is an active composite volcano. Mount Taranaki in New Zealand, which is an active stratovolcano. Mount Mayan in Philippines, which is an active volcano and one of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines. Mount Pinatubo in Philippines, which is an active stratovolcano and had a major eruption in 1991. Mount Kalud in Indonesia, which is an active stratovolcano and had a major eruption in 2014. Mount St. Helens in the United States, which is an active stratovolcano in the Cascade Range and had a major eruption in 1980. These are just a few examples of the many active volcanoes in the Ring of Fire. The eruption of these volcanoes can cause damage to nearby communities and disrupt air travel.
It's important for people living in the Ring of Fire to be aware of the potential for earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis and to take necessary precautions. This includes creating an emergency plan, having emergency supplies on hand, and staying informed about potential hazards through local authorities and news sources.